The remote HMI feature allows a local HMI to connect to a remote HMI through Ethernet. This connection enables the local HMI to access the register data of the remote HMI using the device alias of the remote HMI. Here are the step-by-step -step instructions to configure the remote HMI. First, open the Settings menu. Navigate to Settings, then Communication Settings, to press on Remote Connection, to then click on Create in the dialog box that appears. Afterwards, we configure the Remote HMI parameters. A new dialog box titled Remote HMI will pop up. Configure the following parameters. Use IP. Enter the IP address of the remote HMI. This can be a fixed value or determined by the value of a specified word address register. Device type. Select the type of device from the drop-down list. It supports HMI and FBOX. Refer to the drop-down list for detailed models. Device alias. Set an alias for the device. If no alias is set, the default value is device N, where N is a specific number, please refer to the actual situation. Click OK to save the configurations and to confirm and apply the settings. The remote PLC is a device that connects to the COM port of a remote HMI. The local HMI can access the remote PLC through the remote HMI by identifying the remote PLC through its device alias. Here are the step-by-step -step instructions to configure the remote PLC. First, open the Settings menu. Navigate to Settings then Communication Settings, to press on Remote Connection, to then select the Remote PLC tab in the dialog box that appears. Then we configure the Remote PLC parameters. A new dialog box titled Remote PLC will pop up. Configure the following parameters. Remote HMI address. Enter the IP address of the remote HMI that is connected to the remote PLC. This can be a fixed value or determined by variables. At COM port, Enter the COM port of the remote HMI that is connected to the remote PLC. Manufacturer. Enter the manufacturer of the remote PLC. Device. Type. Enter the type of the remote PLC. Device. Alias. Set an alias for the device. If no alias is set, the default value is device N, where N is a specific number. Default station. Gnome. Set the default station number used by the device address. When the address content does not include station number information, the set value of this item will be used as the device station number. Once all parameters are done, click OK to save the configuration, confirm and apply the settings.